Aye. You spoke yesterday about the importance of learning between the game in December, um, the challenge that you faced here today. Why do you think you were quite passive in that first half, that you, that you maybe couldn't match the intensity that Thorne had brought to the game? Uh, there was some point, some, one thing was um, at Harry Maguire had an issue, first half, and uh, look for us, he overcame, and during the game he recovered from it, and you see then the second half, um, yeah, he, he was up there, and then he can express his leadership, he can express his, of course, defending qualities and his rest on the ball, and we needed that, especially in, the, in this back four. Um, yeah, we lose then some balls in areas we shouldn't lose them. And I think, for instance, when you see the first goal, the setup was good. But in that area, you should never lose a ball. But then uh, it's still not the goal. <laughs> um, but then over the right side, defending, uh, we had some problems in the first half. And in the half time, I think we we repaired it. And then we were second half, Harry or better. We repaired it on the right side. And then we took more control of the game. And in the end, when we were we would have been more calm and composed, I think, even we could have had a win. But first half, yeah, it's the truth. Um, they were better, they uh, created chances. Uh, but the cool thing is, we come twice, we return from losing position. So this team, uh, the spirit is good, the resilience is good, so they, so they show some character. Have you seen the, the goal again, the, the climate oh. goal? He's in so much space. And what was happening down that right side? Nah, <laughs> that already, and that is um, ha ha before that, eh, that Solanke was dropping in and we didn't anticipate a good on that, had something to do with organisation and that is what I, why I, I, I point to, uh, um, uh, you need some coaching there, then you stop at that source and then in the second phase uh, it was too easy um, over the right side, there was a big gap and Kluivert to never uh, um, get that ball there, but if, then we have to close it. So yeah, that's clear and obvious. Was that why, was that why Garnacho came off at half time? Was it tactical? I think we had to repair it over the right side. Yeah. Um, we, um, we, we didn't play well. Uh, the spaces were there um, in possession. And yeah, we had to, uh, to bring a sub there. Uh, Kanache was during the week also, he wasn't training, only yesterday. Um, yeah, and uh, we thought bring some energy and um, yeah, bring some more quality. Uh, so in quality in sense of uh, cooperation, uh, togetherness over that right side. Bayerik, um were you angry at the players at half What did you say to them? Because it did seem like they were really not motivated at all in that first half. Nah, <laughs> yeah. I'm... I'm I'm very long in football. They were very motivated. Eh? But as I explained, uh, but then I have to repeat myself, I don't do that. Eh? Uh, they were motivated, but the organization wasn't right and we lost balls uh, where we shouldn't lose them. Eh? Uh, and the pressure of the opponent, but our players are better than this. I think that um, one win in seven now, Eric, I know you, you're basically saying don't trust the process, the plan is working. What evidence is there that that process is working? Uh, so, this group players of who is available, you see our back four, and that's that's, that's telling the story. Uh, but uh, we know our demand, uh, but that's telling absolutely the story. And especially if then one of the players uh, is struggling, and then uh, we couldn't change the uh, sub him as well uh, because we are run out of centre halves. Eric. Um there are six games to go, you're ten points off the Champions League places. How much pressure do you feel under now? Because time is time is running out to reach that top four or five. Yeah, we we do we give what we can. But I am also realistic. And when so when the full squad was there, uh, I still uh, would have uh, yeah, uh, f uh, say high belief. Uh, but we will keep fighting also with the players who are available and uh, you see there is high potential and but also young players yeah they make mistakes and if they have to perform every premier league and uh, they they proved they can compete with the best teams uh, 
on the highest level they proved but now they have to do it consistently and that is always the next step for young players uh, do you accept that the Champions League place is beyond you now or no 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 I didn't say that uh, last question uh, back. Eric earlier in the season you were keeping a lot of clean sheets but struggling to score now you're struggling to keep clean sheets but you're scoring uh, much more prolifically what's changed uh, because we we developed our attacking game uh, and but in the attacking game we don't have problems with injuries uh, we have the players available in our offensive part but in the defense yeah we have to catch up but that, there is not uh, the players are not available okay so you said, Eric, there's a danger you could get caught in seventh place <laughs> you fall below seventh that would be the worst finish in premier league history to united can you do you think you're going to be above i don't i don't go and take that question it's not that is not important at this moment try <laughs>